Hello, in this video we are going to be implementing the pause state. If you remember in the previous video we created a game state which will contain all our game logic, our AI, where the user will actually be playing the game and we had a pause button that if when it was clicked it printed out pause the game. But we actually want to well, pause the game <laughs> instead of just printing out pause the game. So what we want to do is create a pause state now. So first of all go to your definition file. We need to create some more definitions. So if you scroll up to the background file path, just duplicate game on main menu background. And this is going to be pause background, but it's going to be the same as the main menu background. Again, just to quickly explain why, we're using the same background. The reason we're using a define is we can easily come into here and just modify this so it just propagates through our code instead of having to go to every single file that we're using just the one background file path. So it's just an easy way of keeping things dynamic and easily updatable. So we've got a play button. What we also want to have is a resume and home button, which is what will appear on our main, I mean on our pause date. So if we duplicate this twice, change this to resume button, change this to home button, and we merely have to change this to resume and this to home. So save that, and now what you want to do is actually create the pause state file. So just create it in the normal way that you would for your text editor. So new file, C++ file, make sure you create a header file as well. And I'm going to call it, call it pause state. So just click next, make sure you have added, added it to your target. And now open up your pause state.hpp. We're going to implement the actual, or just create the base class for the pause state in here in the header file. So we're just going to declare everything. We'll implement it in the CPP. So go to main menu state, just copy and paste that, just save some time. And now what we're going to do, there's a few things that we need to modify in here. First of all, we need to change this to pause state, like so. Game data ref, that's fine. We want to be able to access the data such as the assets, asset manager, the input manager, etc. We want a background. We don't want any of these. We want a resume button. Let's copy and paste this because we also want a home button. That is it for the header file. So now if you open up the CPP file, we can actually start implementing it. First of all, just go to your main menu state CPP, copy and paste this, just save some time and paste it here. And now let's go through this line by line and make sure everything is correct and change anything that isn't. So do we want a game state in here? No, we do not. So we can get rid of this. We want to change this to pause state. We want a definition. But we also want a game state. Actually, sorry, we do want a game state, my bad. And we also want a main menu state header as well. So we could have just reorganized it, but I prefer it in this order. So now let's change this to pause state, copy and paste that here. I'm just gonna sort out the sort of the method lines first and then we'll sort out the contents of each method because we're going to get quite a few errors now. So first of all let's just get rid of all of this content and then for the initialize we need to load three assets into our asset manager. First one is going to be the background so data assets dot load texture and for the name it's going to be pause background and for the actual file name it's pause underscore background file path so we're loading this into the asset manager in the previous video when we did the game state i did actually just reuse the background from the main menu that's one way to do it especially if you're trying to be very very efficient but I would say go back load the individual texture in name it to something else again so that way we can easily just change 
stuff in the definition file. So duplicate this twice. So now we want to resume button and this is going to be resume button like so and we also need the home button and this is going to be well home button. Now what we're going to do is set the texture of our sprites that we declared in the header file. So this underscore background dot set texture and for the texture we're just going to do this underscore data assets dot get texture and for the texture we're going to put well pause background that's what we named it right here oh now that I've selected it might as well copy and paste it and now if we duplicate this because we need to do the same for the resume button so do resume button change this to underscore resume button change this one to underscore home button and remember we need to change this to home button like so we're happy with the background position because it's going to cover the screen initially anyway that's fine we just need to set the resume and home button positions so just do this underscore resume button dot set position so we're just going to set them on top of each other centered within the screen so the x value is going to be this underscore data window dot get size dot x so this is the width of our window we're going to minus the resume button width so dot local bounds dot width but before we minus it we want to divide it by two because remember if we have let's say an object that spawns in sfml and imagine if this is just our game window we, we would have the item here and if we want to center in the x-axis we can't just add the actual half of the window size which did I do no sorry I wanted to add half of the window size so let me just quickly implement that like so you can't just add half of the window size because remember it's not already halfway off the screen you'll actually instead of end up being here you'll be ending up being here only the left side will be in the center so we just need to minus half of the buttons width so now what we want to do is do something pretty similar for the y-axis it's going to be slightly different it's just a formula that i created a few years ago and i keep using when i position items works very very well so we're going to do this get window size dot y divided by three and i'll explain in a second why we divided by three and for this we just do the height divided by two. The reason we're doing divide by three, what I figured out is depending on how many buttons you have, let's say that you want to position vertically with equal amount of spacing between them, you do divide by one n plus one. So if there's two buttons, you would do three. And the reason is because even though there's two buttons, there's sort of three gaps between them because there's a top gap. There's a gap between the two buttons in the middle and the gap below it. So we actually want to position it almost like a free grid system. So you'll see in a moment the actual awesome result. So if we just duplicate this. And now what we need to do is this underscore home button set position. X, the X position we're happy with. We just need to change this to home button. It's just the Y position that we need to change. We just need to change this to obviously home button. But for getting the size, we're dividing it by three. We don't want it to be well on top of each other. So if you do times by two, you would actually move it down by one space. And this is great for whether you have three items and you're divided by four, then do this times two, then times three. Fantastic. You'll see in a moment. Now we need to do is handle all of our input. So if we scroll down. 
where we've got is sprite clicked you want to first detect for the resume button like so and we're checking for the left mouse and what we need to do is this machine remove state because the actual poor state when we implement the code in the game state isn't going to replace the current game state it's going to be adding on to the stack we just need to remove this and we can continue playing the game then we need to do an if statement just to check if the actual home button has been clicked so we can actually just copy and paste this save some time and this needs to be underscore home button and first of all we are actually going to remove the state and the reason for this is we need to remove the poor state then we need to replace the game state which is still there with the main menu state so if we do this underscore data machine dot add state state ref new main menu state and we just need to provide well the data struct and true because we are replacing the game state after the poor state has been well popped off the stack so in update we're not doing anything for the draw method we can get rid of well let's just say no, we'll, we'll just get rid of one of them because we need three and we can just easily replace what we need background that's fine this is going to be resume button and this is going to be play button at the moment we can't actually oh oops, sorry not play button home button at the moment we can't pause our game so what we need to do is actually go to the game state so we can actually implement the code to pause it so if we go to game state cpp here we would add the state but before we do that we need to do hash include pause state dot hpp and here we need to do this underscore data machine let me just close the left side so we've got a bit more room to work with dot add state and this is going to be state ref new pause state we just need to pass in what the data and instead of doing comma true we're going to do false because remember we don't want to replace the poor i mean the game state with the poor state we just want to halt its operation and add the poor state as the main top state in our stack and that's what this will do so now we are actually ready to run our application so let's just run this build is successful fantastic go to our splash screen click the play button and now we click the pause button we go to our pause state we click play we continue with our game state we can keep doing this and as you can see these are positioned even evenly and they look really awesome if i click the home button it goes to the main menu state and we now have a not a working game but this structure of a game so that is it for this video. If you have any questions, feel free to post them on my educational platform, sonarlearning.co.uk. If you want to check out the source code, feel free to go to the GitHub link, which will be provided with this video. And as usual, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day.